everybody, it's Cheryl Lawson at the Muse display at the 2013 Consumer Electronics Show. And uh, we'll get a quick demo of uh, what Muse is and what it does. And uh, we'll actually watch someone else go through the brain process. Muse, it's a brainwave sensing headband. And what it does is it measures using EEG technology. Um, and it's got two sensors in the forehead and two behind the ears. And when you see the screen over to the left, the top, that's actually all of his brain waves, all of his brain wave activity. Below it, we isolated two brain waves. His relaxation brain wave, which is actually his alpha brain waves, and his focused brain waves, which is the beta waves, which is the one that says active on it. But we felt that that really wasn't a customer experience, that people wanted to just see their brain waves. Right. So if you scan over to the next screen, what we did was we took those and we interpreted them into a way that made brain training kind of fun instead. So the top score is actually correlated to the pink bar that says active. That is his beta waves. That's showing how focused he is. Most people, when they first put it on, because they're trying to navigate, they can't stay focused at all. So it's really interesting to watch them um, try, and, try and move that number up. So it's not about telling you how to focus, you decide how to increase your focus. Um, some people focus so much on the numbers that it actually gets distracting for them. I usually tell them, and now she's told them to focus on an individual thing and his numbers are going up. And you can see his active numbers on the other side are going up as well. When he hits around the 80 threshold in the focus area, you're going to see it start to snow. The colors in the background turn, start to turn to a, like an icy cold blue. And you can't hear it here because of the noise, but actually the soundscape changes as well and it's all done through his brain waves. Wow. Now, he's also doing really well at the relaxation score, which is the number at the bottom. And what happens there is, again, the, break, the colors change in the background. He's actually doing both of them at the same time, which is amazing. Um, and not all people do it, but you can notice the birds in the background. When you're in a very calm state, the birds are the things that come out and they start to get slower. And he's, they're moving very slow because he's very, very calm now. And he's able to like really, it's almost like slowing down time. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah. So, so he's actually making it snow, so he's very calm and very focused. And the thing is, he's decided what gets him there. Some, uh, there was an individual who actually started to read a business card and that got him to focus as well as relax. There was another person who took out a picture of his children and that immediately shot up his relaxation scores. So you decide for yourself what is the thing and this just gives you the score back and says, yeah, actually what you're doing, that's working for you right now. So nobody has to tell you, first of all, how to relax, which we all know, at least I know, I don't like people to tell me to relax. Right. This is just say, hey, you're doing the relaxation thing, right on, keep going. And that's, that's in essence what we're trying to do. We're trying to integrate, um, most of the brain health stuff that you see in, around here is all gonna be like, finish this exercise, got 30 seconds, put the puzzle together, get it done. We're all about no stress. No stress in terms of developing the application and interacting with the application. So we really want people to have a no stress exercise that's still going to help them with their cognitive, it's still going to help them with memory, it's still going to help them with composure and all the other things. Because you know, when you're having a bad day, it doesn't matter how much your cognitive powers are, how much memory you have, a bad day, a stressful day will bring down the ability for you to remember things, for you to focus on finishing the presentation, all of those things really happen. So we wanted to make sure that we had a really balanced approach. So stress reduction, but at the same time making sure you're still building your cognitive skills. That's awesome. Thank you so much. Did you want to try it? 